This is an instructional video to guide you in safely and effectively injecting your hormones. This video covers how to give yourself a subcutaneous shot. A subcutaneous or sub-Q shot goes into the fat. It uses a shorter, smaller needle than a shot that goes into the muscle. If you're giving yourself an intramuscular shot, check out the video for IM injections. Both estrogen and testosterone vials say for intramuscular use only, but it is okay to do a sub-Q shot with both of these medicines. Before giving yourself your shot, make sure you have an alcohol wipe, a band-aid, and your prepared syringe. If you aren't sure how to prepare your syringe for doing your shot, watch the video called Drawing Up. If you haven't washed your hands yet, you should do that now. Choose where you want to give yourself your shot. Good options include the stomach and thighs. You can also do a sub-Q shot in the back of the arm, but it's very difficult to do on yourself. If you want to do your shot in the belly, choose a spot that's in the highlighted areas and that is at least two finger widths away from your belly button. If you want to do your shot in the leg, you should choose a spot in your upper outer thigh. Once you've picked the place you're going to do your shot, wipe off the area with alcohol. Hold the syringe in the hand you are going to use to do the injection like a pencil or a dart. You can insert the syringe at a slight angle or straight up and down. Pinch the clean skin with your opposite hand. Quickly insert the needle into the skin all of the way. Let go of the flap of skin you were pinching. Inject all of the hormones by pushing on the plunger. Because hormones are thick, it's normal for this to go slowly. Wait a few seconds, then pull the syringe out of the skin. Press a cotton ball or alcohol wipe over the area for a few seconds. Cover the area with a band-aid if needed. You then want to dispose of your used needle and syringe in a plastic container with hard sides and a lid, like an empty milk carton or laundry detergent container. Once the container gets full, you can bring it into the health center for us to dispose of, or you can use the link below for the Sharps disposal regulations in your state. You can also buy a container specifically for Sharps from the pharmacy. If you'd like to do this, you can ask your healthcare provider for a prescription for a Sharps container. Next time you do your shot, you'll want to pick a different spot on your body to do the injection. That way, you aren't always poking yourself in the same spot. Repeatedly doing your injection in the same place can cause the skin to become thick and rubbery and not absorb the hormones as well. Some people choose to alternate between the right and left sides of their body, while others decide to do their shots in a circle around their belly button. We recommend writing down where you did your last shot or putting it in your phone because people often forget where they did their last shot by the time they need to do their next one. In between your shots, you should store your hormones at room temperature like in a drawer. You should not put your hormones in the fridge or leave it in the car during the summer. Also, try not to walk around with your hormones in your pocket for long periods of time. This is unusual, but if you ever see crystals or little chunks in your hormone vial, don't use it. You should call the pharmacy and ask for a refill instead. If you're not sure, bring your vial into the health center or ask your pharmacist.